Jennifer Lopez is celebrating her 25th anniversary as a global star this year. Her performance at the Super Bowl in 2020 provided the impression that her career had reached its zenith. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. However, the failure of her most recent album, an excessively egotistical documentary, and questions regarding whether she sings her own music have harmed her popularity. And it is proving to be the most challenging for her. She has opened the door for opinion columns and social media to question her image, career, and personal history, and the commercial results of her most recent album have been disappointing. Additionally, she has cancelled seven dates of her tour in the United States due to low ticket sales. Comments made by a singer who asserts that Lopez barely sings in her most popular songs sparked this scrutiny. Her name appeared next to her price the first time she made headlines, $1 million. She became the first Latina actress to earn that much money for her role in Selena in 1997. The ease with which Lopez discussed money, a taboo subject for Hollywood stars, shocked journalists. I kept telling my agent, no, 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 because Universal thought they would get me cheap from the beginning. Keep requesting, she stated to Movie Line, although people haven't yet accepted it, I am currently paid very little. In fact, people didn't believe it, a complete unknown requesting the same compensation as a Hollywood star. A phrase that has haunted Lopez for years was brought to light by the news, who does she supposed to be? Lopez made her debut as a singer with the album On the Six in 1999, just as she was about to become a movie star. The subway line she used to travel from the Bronx to Manhattan for castings was mentioned in the record's title. In both the film Made in Manhattan 2002, and the song Jenny from the Block, she has always made it a point to include her humble beginnings in her narrative, promoting it as a story of triumph over adversity. Jennifer Lopez reached a new level of fame in 2003. She did things that no other A-lister had done at the time, including becoming a brand name, J-Lo, and releasing a perfume called Glow. She was the first person to have an album in a movie that reached number one. However, headlines such as, Ben Affleck sleeps with the servants, suggested that Lopez was a maid when she started dating Ben Affleck. An episode of South Park made fun of her because, despite not being able to speak Spanish, she presented herself as a champion of the Latino population. Additionally, she was called, a mean-spirited bitch. Conan O'Brien also made fun of Lopez, telling the audience in a sketch about the couple that he got, our script intern, to play Affleck and, our cleaning lady, to play Lopez. There was a lot of classist criticism directed at the couple because of their exhibitionism, their outings to dinner in tracksuits with rhinestones on them, their celebration of their engagement with buckets of fried chicken, and the rumor that Affleck had bought his fiance a toilet with sapphires, rubies, pearls, and a diamond designed by him and valued at $105,000. It was alleged that Lopez would never cease to be ordinary regardless of her wealth. She was portrayed as a low-class woman who was fixated on showing off her newfound wealth. At the point when gossip spread that she had protected her base for one million bucks allegations she has denied on a few events individuals accepted it not on the grounds that it was valid, but rather in light of the fact that it matched the picture they had framed of her in their minds. Spinning Jenny, an editorial published in The Guardian in 2003, referred to her as, the most vilified woman in modern popular culture. She was referred to by Lawrence Donegan as a representation of, conspicuous consumption, of pushing the boundaries.